Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue the series on Spring Framework. Now till this point we were able to work with Spring Boot and also we have created our first Spring Boot web project. And of course we don't want to discuss everything about web, we want to do that once we start with the project. But there are certain things, some basics we have to understand. In terms of basics, we have talked about how do you map a particular request. So we have done for two requests here, one for the home page, if you can see here, and one for the about page. And in fact, we have done one more. If you remember, for the login as well, we have done this. So in total, we got three requests, right? Now, in this request, basically what we are doing is we are sending a request from the client to server. And then on the server side, basically we are mapping it and returning a data. Now, when you return login page or when you return uh, this text like welcome to the disco or we don't teach, we educate. Basically, what we are doing is we are sending the text back to the client, right? We are not sending a HTML page. In fact, we have talked about it when we use REST controller here, it returns the data. But if you remove the REST from here, it will return the page name. So basically, your Spring Framework will see, okay, it says welcome to the disco. That means I have to search for a file called welcome to the disco, right? And then it search for the file. But we don't have that file. We just want to send data. We don't want to work with the UI part here. We just want to work with data. That's, that's more important, right? And it's working. But let's say you don't want to return a normal text. See, most of the time when you talk about any particular application, you want to return data for a particular entities, right? Example, if it is an e-commerce website, uh, you want to return the products, right? And product will not just have a name. Product will have other details as well. The product ID, product name, uh, product price, product category. So it will have all those things. Now, same goes for, let's say, if you want to book a flight. In flight as well, you'll be having flight details. You'll be having a timing, you'll be having a flight number, and all those details. And think about any application. We normally work with a entity. And in the world of Java, we represent that with the help of objects. So that means if I want to return some details, it can be multiple entities, not just one. So if you talk about the e-commerce website, if you search for a particular product, let's say if you want to search for a laptop, now it will give you a list of laptops. So not one, list of laptops. Now the idea is, how do you send that data from server to client in which format? Will you send as a normal text? Of course not, right? Because on the client side as well, if it is a React application or a mobile application, they cannot accept a normal text. It will be difficult for them to convert that into a UI or Read, read it from the text. And that's why we have to use a JSON format. It can be XML or JSON. Uh, nowadays, we are using JSON, so we'll use that. So basically, what I want to do now is I want to return the data, not the data, normal data. I want to return the object. The object will have the data, which I have to return back to the client. Now, this is tricky. Not in terms of Spring. This is tricky in general. So what I will do is I will create a new controller. And this controller is responsible to return uh, let's say products. So I will say product controller. And we are going to use this later in the project. So I will say product controller. Okay, a simple product controller, nothing fancy. And then this is responsible to accept the request for the products. So when I say public uh, return a string, at this point I will say string, but we'll change it later. And I will say get products. So maybe I want to return all the products in the database. Uh, and of course, in this video, we're not going to work with database. We are just going to return the dummy data, which we have. So it's a list of products. And I want to return something here. At this point, I don't have the data. Now, since we are not working with database, let me create some fake data. And the way I will do that is, first of all, I need a class which will represent a product. So when I say a product, what it would have? Product ID, product name, uh, let's say price. Let's say we have this three. So I'll just right click here and say new. I want to create a class which will represent a product. And this will have certain things. So it will have private. We can also use Lombok here. Then we don't have to type a lot of things. So what we can do is we can get the Lombok so that, in fact, I will first of all type this. So I'll say private int uh, prod ID, then private string prod name and private int price. Let's say we have this three. Later on, we can have we can increase this. So at this point, we got three, and now I want to use Lombok. Why do we need Lombok? Is is because when you use a private variable, of course, I have to create get a, get a status for this constructor as well. So instead of that, I can simply use Lombok library, which will help me to create those things behind the scene, uh, which will make it a bit easy to read. And how do we get Lombok? It's very easy. You go to pom file and you add the Lombok dependency here. So somewhere here. Okay, but I don't remember the Lombok dependency or the group ID and the artifact ID. What you can do is you can go to your browser, search for MVN repository and search for Lombok. This is the project Lombok. Lombok. Let's get this and go with the version which, is look, which looks stable. So this one, it got 3000 use. So I will just pick up this one, copy this. 
and paste it here. Okay, now once you do that, of course I have to remove this line as well. Uh, I will save this and you can see there's an option of Maven Reload, I will do that. So that in my dependency, I will get Lombok as well. So if you expand the external libraries and if you search, you will find Lombok somewhere. It should be in org Lombok is L. Okay, it's project Lombok, is it? Yeah. So you can see we got Lombok here, right? Now, once you have that, you can go back to your, we can minimize this. We don't need external dependencies. Reduce the size of it. And go back to your product control, not product controller, product. And here we can add an annotation called data. So this will give you the get status as well. And now once you have this, you can go back to your product controller and this is where you can return the data. Now normally, if you talk about the layers, if you remember, we have talked about different layers, right? We got controller. And if you, uh, if a controller wants the data, now it will not ask data from database. It will ask data from the service layer. Now this is where we have to introduce new layers because you, can, you should not be writing any business logic inside the controller. Controller is just for accepting the request and responding to the client, not doing any business logic. Okay, so we have to get a service layer which will have a business logic. So what I will do is I will create a service layer here because see, when you talk about, oh, what, what I'm creating, let me delete this file, not needed. Yeah, so here from get products, what I want to do is I want to get all the products from the service. I don't want to write the logic here. So let me create a new class and this class will be responsible for the logic. So I will say product service and I want this to be in different package. So what I will do is I will put all the controllers. If you can see, we have multiple controllers here. Controller should go in controller package. Uh, the service classes should go in service package and the product goes should go in the model package. So there's a concept of MVC, model view controller. So the job of a controller is to accept the request from the client, respond it. So in view, we basically return the page. Now here we are, we are not returning a page, we're returning data, but still it's a part of MVC. The model represents data. So if you talk about the product here, this represents the data, right? So this is model package. So I will say new, I want to create packages, uh, one for the controller. Now this package will have all the controllers. So you can just move that there, refactor. And I want to create a service package as well. So I will create a package which will have the service because in future we are going to get multiple service classes. So I will just move that here. And then I want to create model as well. In fact, once we start with database, we will also create a repo package, not a class. I want to create the package. This is for model and we'll move product to model. Okay, so now we are creating those packages. It will look good and also easy to find. So all the controllers will be in controller, all the models will be in model, all the service will be in service. Okay, now in the service class, basically I want to create a method which will return me the list of products. So it's a list of products and I will say get products. You can have different name, but that's fine. And we can return it. Now, since product is not part of this package, I will just import this and we got it. And we have to also import the list. So we got it. And now our job is to return the list of products. Now the question is, where do we find this list? We don't have a database. So time being, we can create some dummy data. So I can create a list of data. So what I will do is I will say list of uh, product, and I will say products is equal to, and let me create uh, the product like this, arrays dot as list, and I will say new, product. Okay, I want to have a constructor as well, which will accept this. So what I will do is in the product, I will add one more all argument constructor here uh, so that it will create a constructor for me. So this is a feature of Lombok. I'll just go back here and say, I want to create the list of product, which will accept the first one product ID. Then I, I will say iPhone prices, let's say 50,000. Okay. It's not accepting all arguments constructor. But anyway, we'll try to run this and see what, what goes wrong. So, and then I will also say new product and this time we'll add 102. And let's say we only have two now. We just want to see right if it's working or not. I will say Canon camera because that's what I can see on this on, on the desk. And then I will say price is 70. Okay, so we got this two data. It's not working because of Lombok. I think when you run this, it will it, will, it has to enable the Lombok uh, Thing. Just see if this is working. Okay, there's no compile time issue. So of course that's a Lombok uh, problem. And it says 8080 port is not uh, working. It may be because the port is busy with something else. What I will do is I will change the port number. So this is the problem with uh, with my machine. Every time I close my IntelliJ IDEA, it's not able to close the port number. It may not be issue with you. Uh, so it says 8080 is busy. So what I will do is I will change the port number. So we can do that. So if the port number 8080 is busy, 
I will say server dot port is equal to age rate one. So now this time it will run on age rate one. Even age rate one is busy. That's weird. That's weird. I don't know where I'm using all these ports. So I've, I've not restarted this machine from a long time. So maybe that's the issue. Uh, and I've not closed the runtime properly. So 8086. Okay, there's some other issue then. It's not the problem of this. So what I will do is I'll just try to solve this first. Okay, Lombok is not working properly as expected. I'll say Maven reload project. Okay, what I will also do is I will also make this as a component. And it looks like most of the IDE problem, not this. And for the service class, we can also use component or we can use service package or service annotation. So basically for different layers, we can use different annotations. Ultimately they are same, even service package, service annotation uh, behind the scene is a component. You can see when I go over here, it is also a component, but uh, it is similar, but there are some differences which only works for a specific use case and it's still giving this problem. So maybe Lombok is not working. So what I will do is, it's fine. Uh, we can just remove this and create guest letters. It normally works, I don't know what's going wrong there. So I'll stick to my basic thing. So I will right click here and say generate. And let me know if it is working for you on your machine. There might be some issue. Uh, right click, generate constructor. For all. Okay, so we got the constructor now and now it should not be an issue. And you can see this is solved. Some issue with the Lombok. Okay, once we have done this, uh, next we have to return this products. So basically we got the products, we can return it. In fact, I can add one more now, since it, look, it is looking good. Uh, I will say 103, I will say sure mic, and price is let's say 40. I'm not sure what's the, or maybe 10. Okay, so we got three products now and we are returning. So as you can see, all the logic we are writing in the service package. In the controller, nothing. Now what controller will do is, controller will get this data from the service. So in here, we have to create a product service and we'll name this as service is equal to new product service. Now this is what we don't want to do, right? We don't want to create the object by ourselves. We want Spring to give it to us. And once you got the service, I can simply say service because service will return the products. So when you're asking for the controller, controller will say, okay, let me get from the service. So service dot get products, but it will return the least of product, not one, it will return the list of products. Now this will not work is because we are not writing iterate auto wire. So we need the object so we can ask for it. So the object will be created inside the spring container because of this service annotation, which is component behind the scene. And you can simply uh, auto wire it. Now some, some certain things are missing here. On top of this, we have to say rest controller. And on top of this method, we have to say request mapping and for which request. So whenever I say slash products, I want this. So whenever you say slash products, you have to return this. So simple, right? Uh, will this work? That's the question, let's try. So what I will do is, uh, this time I hope it will work. I will just relaunch this. I don't know why it is saying the port number is busy. Okay, okay. Now this time problem is different. It says uh, product required for a bean of type int could not be found. The parameter is zero of the constructor in model required a bean of type int that could not be found. Okay, so let me go back to the product. It's fun to debug the applications, right? So it says prod ID, we are returning int for the first one. And in the service, we are passing int, not an issue. Okay, is it required to have a no argument constructor? Okay, this time we got another error. It says port number 8086 was already in use. Okay, let's solve this. Looks like there's some issue with the IDE. What I will do is I will just close this. Okay, reopening done of the IntelliJ IDEA. Let me just port, change the port number to 8090. I don't know why all the errors are coming today. <laughs> there might be some problem with the ID or maybe I've done I'm doing some mistake. Let me in the comment if you can find my problem here. Sometimes you can't debug your own stuff. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like a problem of the server. Is there something wrong with the code? I'm not sure. We are writing REST controller. We are saying that this is a service. We are returning the products. Mapping is done properly. 
uh, the product service. We are returning the products. We have added it service here. Things are looking good. I don't see any problem. Is it the issue with the Lombok library? Let me just get rid of Lombok library. Restart package Lombok does not exist. I'm not even using them. Remove, launch, nup. I'm not sure what is going wrong and things are getting lengthy. So I will just restart the entire system and it will work. And let's try to see what was wrong. Okay, now, now this is a part which I'm recording later after some time, in fact, few hours. And we know something, right? Whenever something goes wrong, if it is not working, uh, after trying for making some changes, if it's still not working, we, what we do is we restart our system. So I've done the restart and I've also ran it. It was working, so I'm just doing that once more in the video. So I will just relaunch this. Nothing changed, you know, port number is still same. I just restarted my system. There was some issue with the, uh, maybe the system or the IntelliJ, I'm not sure. But now it's working. You can see it says Tomcat started on 8080. Now, how do I test it if it's working or not? So one thing you can do, you can open your browser and go to localhost 8080 and search for products. Okay, still not working because the port number we have changed. It is 8090, enter. And now you can see we got our products. Uh, so I, I also installed a plugin in my browser, which is pretty print. Maybe because of that, I'm getting this option, but you can see we got the products here. I know this doesn't look good because in the real world, we want to see the page, right? Uh, the design, but then we have talked about it. We are not concerned about design here. We are concerned about the data and we got it here. This is one way of doing it. We can also get this data on another tool. So whenever you want to test your APIs, basically what we are doing here is we are building APIs, which will be used by mobile application or it will be used for uh, a browser using React application or Angular. And this will send requests to the API, API will send the data. So this one way, another way you can also use is Postman, but how exactly we use Postman, we'll talk about that in the uh, next video. But at this point, uh, we are able to run that on the browser. Just wanted to finish this video with working output. So yeah, that's it from this video where we have seen different layers. See you in the next video.